Hey guys, in this video, I'm gonna show you how you can activate some really easy cheats for Pokemon Uranium, a fan-made Pokemon game. First, you're gonna need to download a program called Cheat Engine. I will put a link in the description for where you can download it. It just takes you to this webpage. Just click download Cheat Engine and install it. Once Cheat Engine is installed, open it and you'll see this screen here. With Pokemon Uranium open, click on this little monitor icon and it's gonna show you a list of processes that your computer is running. Click Pokemon Uranium and click Open. Now Cheat Engine is attached to Pokemon Uranium and we are ready to start cheating. So the first and easiest hack that we're gonna do is a speed hack. This is as simple as checking this box here, enable speed hack. And this number here is a multiplier for how fast you want the game to run. I found that running it at five times speed is pretty good so we'll click apply and now you can see the game is running at five times speed and battling is really fast we can farm xp really easily this way next we're going to change our player's money value as you can see here i have 965,349 poke dollars normally what we want to do is just take this number 965 Three four nine, and we'll put it into this box here that says value. We would do nine six five three four nine, and we'll just set the value type to four bytes. But the way that this game calculates values is that it has a formula, and the formula is simple. It's whatever the value you have times two plus one, and you can put that calculation in this box right here. It's going to do that for us automatically, and we're going to click first scan. And here it comes up with a bunch of values that could be our money value. And we're just gonna go ahead and spend 300 Poké Dollars. And before we've even spent the money, we can see a bunch of values here have changed, leaving these three values unchanged. So we can just go for scan type, unchanged value, and click next scan. And that just filters out some results that we know are not the ones that we're looking for. We'll go ahead and confirm that we're spending our 300 Poké Dollars. And we can see this one address, this one value changed. So we're just gonna double click on that. And that's gonna bring it down to this little list here where we're just gonna save it. And we could just double click on no description and we'll just call this money. And we're just gonna exit the shop menu and we're gonna double click on the number for value here. And we'll just put 999999 times two plus one, and we'll press enter. And this is going to change our money value directly. So now we'll go back in the store and we can see we have 999999. Next, we're gonna duplicate some items that we already have. So we're just gonna go into our bag and we can see that we have 96 Pokeballs. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna click new scan and we're gonna put 96 times two plus one. And then we're gonna toss one Pokeball. This is gonna change how many Pokeballs we have. And now we're gonna scan for 95 times two plus one. And we have one address here. This is the number responsible for how many Pokeballs we have. So we'll just change the description to Pokeballs. And we'll make this 999 times 2 plus 1. And that should give us 999 Pokeballs. So we'll exit our bag, go back into our bag. And now we have 999 Pokeballs. Next, we're going to look at changing our Pokemon's HP. Here our Raptorch has 13 HP. So we're gonna scan for 13 times two plus one. And then we're gonna go lose some HP. In this case, our Raptorch leveled up. Now his HP is 15, which works just fine because his HP changed. So now we're gonna scan for 15 times two plus one. And now we have three values that could be his HP. So we're gonna go into another battle and right away we can see two of these values are changing. 
we know that they're not correct. The one that stays the same is this 31. Just to be sure, we're gonna lose some HP and see how that value changes. Okay, so he just got hit. Now he has 13 HP. So 13 times two plus one is 27. We can confirm that this is our HP value. We'll just call it Raptorch HP. And we're gonna leave the battle now because when we make changes to the HP in the battle, it doesn't quite work the way that we want it to. So we're gonna leave the battle. We're gonna look at Raptorch's health, 13. And we're gonna change his health to 99. So we'll do 99 times two plus one. We're gonna leave this menu and go back in. And now we can see we changed his HP. So now when we go into a battle, we can see he has 99 out of 30 HP. When he gets hit, it updates to 97. So it is working. One thing to note is that every time you leave the battle, the HP gets adjusted. So an easy way to get around that is to change the value to what we want it to be. So 99 times two plus one. And then we're gonna click this checkbox, which is gonna freeze that value. Okay, so we have 99 health again. And we're gonna leave the battle. And what's gonna happen is the HP is going to adjust after the battle, but then Cheat Engine is going to replace it for us automatically. And now we have 99 HP. So essentially you don't have a God mode, but you do get a full heal after every battle. And you would have to do this for every Pokemon. Okay, so now let's do this for our move PP. So you can see Raptorch's PP is zero out of 35 for Scratch. He can't use that move anymore. If we're just grinding for XP, that sucks. Let's go and scan for how many moves he has left for Ember, which is 13. So we'll go to new scan and we'll put 13 times two plus one. And we're gonna go use Ember on some poor Pokemon. Okay, so now we have 12 PP for Ember. So we're going to scan for 12 times two plus one. And now one of these values here is responsible for the PP for Ember. We'll go into a battle, check it out again. We can see two of these are already disqualified. We'll just scan for unchanged value. Click next scan. Another one just disqualified itself. And we're gonna use Ember. And we can see this one value changed. So we'll just call this Ember PP. And now we can change this to 99 times two plus one. And now you can see his PP for Ember is 99. If you don't wanna put it to something like 99, you can set it to 25, which is the max. So 25 times two plus one, just to put it up to the max. But what we can do now is just click on this little checkbox to freeze that value. So it sets it back to full PP every time. So now we'll just go into a battle. We have 25 PP for Ember. We're gonna use it. And now we're just gonna check to make sure it's still 25, which it is. And I'm gonna show you one more useful cheat, infinite repel, so that you don't have to get caught in the weeds if you're just trying to rush through a certain part of the game. We're gonna go into our bag. We're gonna find our repel and we're gonna use it. Swash, use the repel. And we're gonna click new scan, scan type, unknown initial value, because we don't know how many steps we have left. And we're gonna click first scan. And this comes up with 34 million values. We're gonna take a couple of steps and we're going to go to scan type, decreased value, click next scan. And just to filter out a bunch of these, we're gonna go to scan type, unchanged value and click next scan a bunch of times. Okay, then we're gonna take a few more steps and then scan for a decreased value again. Take a few more steps, scan for a decreased value. A few more steps, scan for decrease. And we did this until the effects of repel wore off. So we have only a handful of values left here. If I use another repel, one of these values should go way up. Because our repel went down to zero, I'm pretty sure it's this value here, which is one, because zero times two plus one is one. 
So if I use this repel, this value should update. And there it is. It's at 201 now. So we're just going to add that to our list. And we're going to call this repel count. Now, every time we take a step, this value should go down a bit. There it is. And if we want infinite repel, we just click on this checkbox and now our repel never runs out. It's stuck at the value we froze it at. So a cool thing about this repel cheat is that even if your repels effect wore off and you don't use another repel, this counter can still be changed. So we'll just do 10 times two plus one and now we have repel active again without having to use the item. So we'll take a few steps. You can see it wore off. So at any time, we can just add to our repel and freeze it. And now we don't get caught in the weeds to fight any Pokemon. Thanks for watching my video. I hope this helped you cheat in Pokemon Uranium. If you want to learn more about Cheat Engine, I have a video where you can learn all that kind of stuff. I'll put that in the description as well. Thank you for watching.